My name is Yadira Lozano and I am Executive Director of Luminaria. The Luminaria Working Artist Fund is a micro grant that we created in order to help artists with small amounts of cash that they may need to move forward in their in their artwork, in their artistry, whatever project that they're working on. I went to a museum when I was in fourth or fifth grade and I seen a painting of an African-American man that was huge, you know, life size. And that kind of got me on a track of thinking to become an artist and doing the same thing. I think that it's a big help because uh, many minorities don't have the resources to you know, do whatever they like in the arts. What I purchased with the Luminaria grant was 10 30 by 40 canvas, uh, a large wooden easel, um, a couple of tubes of paint, and a couple paint brushes. So that was a lot of help. My art is about representation, so, you know, kind of like what I was inspired by in the beginning at the museum, I kind of want to continue that message of showing representation of brown people and just kind of putting it out there so kids can also go and see something that looks like them and be inspired and that cycle continues. Caldrick is, you know, one of our, our local black artists and it's so important that art, that Caldrick is supported because we need to have our people of color shine. So what inspired me to become an artist was that I was in high school, I went to an early college high school called Bryan Collegiate High School and my art teacher there essentially pushed me to do it. She saw something that I had an eye for photography or had an eye for the art. As a first generation Mexican American woman, it means a lot to me because there's a lot of opportunities out there. And unfortunately, sometimes they're not given to people of color or women especially. So I'm very thankful that Luminaria has given me a chance for me not to stress out so much about funds or looking for money. I was finally able to buy some blankets. Uh, I went to Goodwill and I bought all secondhand blankets. I wanted them to have wear and tear. I wanted them to have story. I was able to buy paint. I was able to buy like, varnish, paint brushes. And the, my biggest purchase, I was able to finally buy a sewing machine. I really want my artwork to hopefully influence the younger Latinas, Latinos, Latinx culture, or, or the younger generation of them to not depend on anybody, not just men, but not just anyone in general. The generational trauma that we unfortunately do pass down to our young ones um, and that they're able to do whatever they like to do um, and hopefully I'm able to inspire them. And the more I've seen her work, she's very bold and unapologetic and we need artists like that because so many times when artists apply for grants or to be in a show, they already psych themselves out. They're already thinking they're not gonna like this. I'm not gonna send, you know, the crazy stuff. I'm gonna send the safe stuff. I'm not entirely sure if there was like inspiration behind it. I was just um, from a very young age uh, encouraged to do so by like my mother and teachers that I guess saw that I was good at making stuff. I feel like it's like needed economic funding that otherwise wouldn't be accessible. So fortunately the grant, I was able to use that money to um, apply to a residency in Mexico City, to pay for my plane ticket to get there and also to pay for the, um, the fee, the artist residency fee. The work primarily focuses on or talks about race and socioeconomic status and how that, how people are perceived based off of this, right? Um, it talks a lot about also like education, it talks about whitewashing and how that can affect artists of color like myself. The objects that we discard, all of those boxes we throw them in the recycle and you know they're gone and we don't think about them and he looks at that as art and I think that's just really beautiful that's just something that no one else sees. I would love for people to really appreciate all the hard work and effort that goes into creating those works and to donate to donate to the Working Artists Fund because this is what keeps us alive what keeps us happy brings us joy.